Oh. No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And today I got the Five Finger Posse with me. Some of yeah. Philadelphia's yo, yo, yo. top Jumper underground, up and coming magicians. Yeah, you mean. That's when I started the sentence. I didn't plan on saying magicians to end it, but let's I'm just the dark go with magician that. Magician of Chaos. All right, so let's just do this. Let's go around. Everybody say your name and uh, a food that you like that begins with the same letter as your name. A fluid? A food. Oh, a fluid oh, would be oh, cool, okay. too. Yeah. Hold on. I'm a about fluid. to start, though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to start. You mean this young mojo. Okay. Shout out. Shout out Wild F. Shout out the whole Wild F. Shout out all my niggas. Shout out POS. I'm shouting out everybody. Shout out Hooks. Shout out Breeze. Shout out my nigga Subi. Shout out everybody. When they seven, you mean. But yeah, it's young mojo and... I like shrimp. That don't rhyme with my name, though. Or, 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 or. <laughs> no, no. First letter. Something with an M. M. Uh, oh, mozzarella sticks. There we Ooh. go. Mozzarella sticks. Oh, God. That's a fact. Fuck, yo. That's hard. <laughs> All right. 5G's up next. Yo, I'm 5G and shit. I'm coming through. Uh, well, since your name begins with a 5... All right. You can only pick a food that begins with a five, and that to me right, is just cool. five That's gum. Even better, yo. Five right, gum no, is no, it? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with the five guys and shit. Yeah. Oh, they yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shouts out five guys and shit. You know that was Shouts easy as fuck. <laughs> Adam made it easier for me and shit. So, <laughs> all right, amazing. Uh, all right, next up. All right, yeah, you already know it's Alvin the Bis and it's John. Uh, hey, I don't want to say nothing basic like apples, but since this nigga said fluids, I'm gonna say acid. Mmm, yeah. eating acid or ass? How about that? You do that? Is that a thing in Philly? Nah, no? I don't eat no ass and shit. I mean, respect. I mean, respect. More for me. Respect to everybody. I met a that John that's shit. worth that. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know about all that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, finally. Yeah, it's Minister Morgan and shit, or you can call me a Morgor if you want. You already know. But uh, I don't really know. Like, I don't even know. Another M. Another M. Mozzarella sticks are I off the table. Uh, I fuck with macaroons. <laughs> oh, there you go. You yeah. guys get creative. I was immediately thinking like mac and cheese, cheese McDonald's. Yeah. Fuck mac and cheese. That's muffins. Disgusting. Muffins. It depends. Baked macaroni is lit. Oh, yeah. Come on. Baked? It's all, it's all ass. Cheese and noodles. Ooh, it's like the most basic yeah. thing we could think of. Yeah. I don't fuck with cheese. <laughs> Yeah, you just like those. He thick mozzarella sticks. He likes They're those. all weird. cheese. Honestly, I don't fuck with cheese, but uh, mozzarella sticks is fired up. Ah, I yeah, respect you that. Any ball. Any ball for that bro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right. Five Finger Posse. How does it become a group? Where the fuck you guys come from? I know you're from Philly, but let's hear a little bit more of a detailed story of how you guys came together. You want to go first? This is like a big thing right here. Who's going to take the lead? All right. Well, <laughs> Morg said it started it's me. off like, like niggas was just like cool with each other for real, for real. But like niggas met from skating. Like we all. With skaters, like, because in Philly, like, that shit is, like, a big skate state. Like, niggas sure. had Love Park, all types of other Love spots. was rocking, though? You were actually skating there? Hell yeah. yeah. I was yeah. Hell yeah. Love, you mean, niggas Hell love. Yeah. I still be at uh, Muni sometimes. Yeah. I still be skating. Uh, tell me why. I, skating love. I got a park. Yeah. I got a ticket for riding my bike at fucking Love in, like, 2003. Mm-hmm. DGKO, DGK, they took, they DGK took, and them niggas used to be there. 2003? That's what, they was, that's what they was not fucking with. Nobody. Yeah. They was yeah. Stevie no, but you, you were getting the same amount of trouble for skating back then, too. You remember when Stevie Williams used to be out there? Yeah. I mean, I've never seen him, but I would watch the videos all the time. Stevie Williams and DGK used to be out there. But, yeah, that's how it all derived. Like, that's how we all met. For real, for real, like, like, and then we really just all noticed that we all shared the same like mind state and shit, like as, towards a lot of shit. So we just grouped together and stuck together because like niggas can't really like it's just genuine shit be hard to find. Like, so like niggas had definitely had to held on to the bonds that they had because this shit really started from like genuine shit. Like it wasn't no internet shit. Like we all really brothers for real, for real. Like I knew some of these niggas since. Like fucking ninth grade, and I'm in, and I'm fucking, I'm 22. Mm-hmm. So, you mean like that's how I go? Like that's how we met. But for real, for real, how the how the group really started, like the music side. <sighs> so it's like, at first, niggas had an art side only. There was yeah. no music side to it. The only music that was into it was me. Art because though, like what, like graffiti and shit? It was like, me and shit. Art he and did shit. graffiti. I did fucking yeah. graph. I, I mean, not graph. I did fucking like graphic design mm-hmm. yeah. and fucking like um, like Photoshop shit. Yeah. So I used graphic to make like art. hella designs and like I used to do hella art shows before and like the music shit. The uh-huh. Five Finger Posse. The name Five Finger Posse was something that was made back in 2012 when him, Five G, 
and our man's MK. Shout out MK. Shout out yeah. MK. Shout, out MK. Shout out Michael Corpse. Hold up, and one more thing. Think, shout out 9K too. He not here right now. He in Philly. You mean? Yeah, but, but you mean? like the uh, these niggas, these niggas was used to like thrift, or they used to like thrift and shit. Like we all thrift. We all used to thrift at least. Like niggas got shit up now. So like niggas don't thrift no more because the 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 nigga the thrifts be ravished now. Like niggas took down on everything that's cool. Yeah, everything that was once an opportunity is now yeah. like everyone knows. So like yeah. niggas just be doing what they do, but. Like when niggas used to like steal shit from the thrift or anywhere else, gotta rob the thrift. Yeah. Niggas would say, <laughs> niggas would say, niggas would call themselves the five finger posse ah, because okay, niggas yeah. got a five finger discount on oh, that item or whatever it was. <coughs> yeah, that's Shout how out it was made. And culture, yeah, that's how yeah. it was made. And like I'm stealing. a gra- I'm a graph artist, so gotta steal. Like, when we met, when we met, like him and MK, like I met them first. Like it was me. I met these niggas because me and MK, like, at the first time we seen each other, we both had on, like, an ill starter piece. This one, we was, like, heavy wearing starter shit, like, vintage shit. And then, like, we just started chilling, matching up and shit. And then, like, soon I brought these niggas around and we all just became, like, a unit and shit. Yeah, it was, like, downtown Philadelphia and shit was, like, the spot. Yeah, like, so uh, like all the youth, and all shit. of us was helping him basically push his art because we all saw, like, how much potential it had. And his art, his name, the name of his art was five god and we were the five godron mm-hmm. shouts out the base god because that's like a big inspiration on me and shit bro yeah yeah shouts out little b so basically this nigga basically started the five like the like the five name like the aesthetic name like that name but like the the music came from me him mojo mm-hmm. and alvin originally we was the three first members. It well, really, really came from me and Mojo first because me and Mojo was about to be a, 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 a duo. Oh, me okay. and Mojo was about to be a duo called Jiggingham Brothers. But Jiggingham? Jiggingham. Jiggingham. Okay. Like that's Birmingham, we, like we was in jug, we That's our location. Jug. Jiggingham, like Jiggingham. Fifth Jiggingham, land. Fifth Land. Jiggingham Palace. Yeah. Fucking The Abyss. Uh, the Abyss. Abyss. Yeah. The yeah. Abyss. All, yeah. of, all of that. Is, that's right, our location. All like, that. That's where we be. And we was about to, like, when we, like, like like really started hanging out, we started, like, I noticed that he was doing bass freestyles and shit. Mm. And I was just starting to do my shit on those type of beats. Because i always been a rapper, but I was doing old school type shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I always, like, was doing old school shit because I was with a different group. But them niggas couldn't respect my music taste, so I had to, like, get rid of that shit. And then when me and him started rapping, like, we started to notice that this nigga could rap. Mm. And once we started to notice he correct, we was like, all right, we might as well be three people. Fuck two, because, you know what I'm saying? And then from there, like, we just started, did our first song, and it got a lot of attention. Like, we didn't even know that it was going to get that much attention, but we did know because we knew, like, how dope we all are. Like, did you know together. anybody who was doing well on, like, a local level in Philly? Nobody, uh, nobody no really oh. does, like... <laughs> Says Meek Mills, that's about it. Like Meek Mills yeah, is the Uzi, only. Like, and and it's, it's, like, it's hard yeah. to like think of like yourself as like Meek Mill or Uzi because they're both so in their own world. Yeah, like, you it's know? a lot yeah. of different lanes. It's a lot Philly, of different though, lanes. Like, but... Philly right now, it's like it's really kind of popping right now. Like we got like because you got like the hood niggas is popping right now. You got like, like who? I don't. Like, uh, <sighs> It's like niggas like, A-R-F. I don't know. Like, no, that ass, that ass though, like, like the niggas from my hood, young one, eight seven. You know he doing numbers. Uh, you got the uh, got Rico Havoc and shit. Yeah. Bull pound side pop and shit like that. They be doing numbers like you got the hood lane and shit. They be doing yeah. numbers. You got like Maddox and shit. You got hood numbers. Yeah. What well, about that working on dying different. boys? That's what I'm talking about. Cause I, that's why shit. I started listening to you guys is cause I'll like yeah. listen to a fucking filthy beat or well, well, beat all, Forza, any day. Fours have been my man's since ninth grade. Okay. So, oh, okay. That's been my man since ninth grade before I even like really was doing like th- these type of beats, like any type of beats that we do now. And my, the first beat I ever did on like like a like a trap type underground type shit, I sent it to him first mm. and he gave me good feedback. And at this time he was already making beats. He didn't make tread by this time, but he was already making beats and shit. So his feedback let me know. I was like, all right, you know what I'm saying? He's a little nigga too. So I'm I'm going I'm to just keep going with this shit. And mm. from there, that's when I just kept going and we made the group and shit. Mm-hmm. But how we started working with them really was I like... I was just moving it so you can look at me still. Yeah, we good. went to this like... We went to this like... uh, Like, well, me, I went to this like uh, fucking function downtown that Filthy and Oogie Man were DJing. 
and I met them in person because me and Oogie Man were like always like fucking with each other on Instagram. You know how you like, you know, you just know how you know, you just, you just gonna fuck with somebody just mm-hmm. from looking that, like, that's how it was, like, on both sides. So, like, when we met, it was like genuine as fuck. Like, he wanted to join genuine niggas we really know for real, for real in this whole shit. And like, what were you listening to like around the time when you started making music all together? Like, what were the the artists that you could all agree were dope? Because I see you guys just coming from like the real Chief underground Keith, shit. Okay, yeah. Pert, uh, fucking Lil B, of course, Lil B. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we was listening to B. We was listening to a lot of shit. My music taste me, ranges so like, much. Like for me, I have to say like. I don't know. Everything. Everybody's like a little bit different. And everybody's shit, different. Like I was like fucking with like heavily like Pharrell yeah. and shit and fucking like Kenna. Yeah. Uh, fucking. Fucking of course, Space Ghost Perp. Fucking yeah. Lil B and shit. And I was uh, fucking with like like little Ugly Main, Necro, yeah. Ill Bill, like fucking Mob Deep is especially one of my heaviest influences. That's real. Like, like Metro my Zoo, too, my yo. generation. I'm surprised Metro you go Zoo back that shit. deep. Yeah, yeah I, I, Metro bro, Zoo. Yeah, we can chop Metro it up Zoo. definitely after this about some shout shit. Out Slick. I know some shit. Bro. Me and Slick, me and Slick, supposed to do some work though. Yeah, Ooh. shout out Metro Zoo. Shout out Lofty, yo. Shout out for real, for real. Yeah, shout out to Zoo. And we shout also to listen Zoo. to like a lot of like Memphis gangster shit. Like you already know, like yeah, Tommy, Tommy Wright, like Project Pat. Gangsta Pat, like uh, shit like three, that. Six, all of these six. And then like me and this nigga used to listen to like a lot of like bands and shit heavy like. Me and him really listen to like that, like, uh, like fucking hella hardcore shit. And like, and like punk and shit. Like, like punk. I, and then I started getting into death metal. And that's where like, that's when my man introduced me like more to like black metal. Mm. And I fuck with black metal so much that like f- from like this one band, I derived like the fucking The Abyss. Like, Who? Us, like it's uh, Murdoch. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, like it's this it's this shit called Fuck Me Jesus. I went through and such a period shirt. of my life where I was so obsessed to like interested in it, even though the music is not like something I want to listen yeah. to all the time, but I just thought it was the sickest, craziest <laughs> yeah. shit, you know? Like I seen you had put one time, like you put up the shit. Like I have that shirt that you were talking about, like the Jesus is a cunt shirt. Oh, the Cradle oh, yeah, of Phil shirt. I yeah, have yeah, that yeah. shirt. Yeah. <laughs> I love Cradle of Phil. Like that's what yeah. that's why I like I saw them in nineteen ninety eight when I was in eighth grade and it scared the fuck out of me. <laughs> Everybody had Danny that shirt. Phil is crazy, bro. <laughs> yeah. That shirt is banned in like Europe and yeah, shit. Like yeah. you can't wear it. You'll get like religious discrimination. It's yeah. crazy. But I can wear it whatever. I wear it out here. I, people I mean, be, people be so mad at me. I will wear it out here, but I feel like somebody would probably say something to me at some. Uh, nah, no. Nah, does anybody in LA believe in Jesus? I don't know. Maybe That's in Philly. Still. I, so much, uh, so, yeah. I don't know. I feel yeah, like you can uh, shit on you can shit on Christianity, out. but I ain't going to Philly and shitting on the Muslims. Oh, yeah, yeah, Hell you gonna, no. You gonna die? <laughs> yeah, no, you gonna die? You gonna die? You gonna die. But no, on the real though, uh, cheese steaks though. Let's talk about cheese steaks and shit because like. Niggas from Philly and shit. And uh, I miss that shit right now. Uh, I ain't had no nah. cheesesteak in a long yeah, ass I time. I got a central message for everybody, too. When you go to Philly, do not go to Pat's. <laughs> do <laughs> not go to Geno's. Don't go to Geno's. Go Those to Those are the most generic, fakest cheesesteak places you could ever go to. If you go there, Gym's you are a fucking tourist and you need to get your ass a poppy store platter. For $4. Poppies, you know? Yeah, and, po- it's and a poppy $4. store, too. The poppies, they got you, bro. They Dominican or they steak. Puerto Rican. They make, they whip this shit up crazy, bro. <laughs> get Quick. you the fries, get you right. Bro, you mean? It's, get you the it's the Arizona best food too? you can think of, bro. Stop going to Geno's and Pats and giving them. Them niggas is cops, bro. And, and, for real, for real. Geno's and Pats, if you look at the wall, they got all police shit all around. The police be around there. And the stop, game yo. try say he ate there yeah, and shit, but like... Shit. And a lot of niggas be in Hollywood too, yo. Go back to your mom's house and eat some home cooked meals and shit for real, for real. On some real Respect. shit. Respect. Yeah, go eat with your mom. <laughs> yeah, That's what I'm saying. Meals, yeah. bro. Another thing, people got to stop jocking Philly slang. Like, that's a, that's a fact. Like, okay, so that's, what are we talking? Bull? Right. No, like, oh, no. John. Like, <laughs> that's some Chicago bull. shit. That's some Chicago shit, bro. Oh, John, right. John, John, John. That shit is a Philly term. For real? Like, I've been hearing yeah. John for a long time, like, I feel it's, like. Bro, it's like, in Webster, yo. Like, it's in Webster. Webster. Marion just put that John in there. That's a Philly slang word. Really? Niggas need to stop claiming it as theirs, bro. That's Philly. I feel like I might have heard it somewhere else, but it was like, if it's it's probably been around for a long time and comes from Philly. Okay. Ratchet, too. Ratchet comes from Philly. Yeah, that's a that's a Philly sling. Wow. Crazy. <laughs> yeah, that definitely is. Yeah, that's definitely it's Philly. It's a lot, man. It's a lot. It's um, a lot. 
Drawn, drawn, yeah, drawn. But niggas, too, don't, yeah. Know, niggas don't know about drawn. I be, I be seeing niggas say young boy a lot. Like, yeah, yeah, stop saying young boy like, too. That's really, that's really funny, that's bro. Yeah, that's, that's really funny. Young boy, like, young boy, yeah, that's young boy. Like fuck out of young boy, yeah, that's that's Philly shit. Uh-huh. Like, you say, like, they say, dick you ever seen? You ever seen? Did kid. you ever see the uh the 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 John where it was like it was like uh uh the the, the kid with the patch in his head and it was like you want some shit patch? You oh, did you ever see that? Yeah. That was Philly. Oh, really? It's just like this That's viral ass. He looked like a young boy. Like, it's like as a, young, as a boy. young boy, he, he looked like, like Jay Z and fucked shit. Fucked up haircut, and he got patches in his head. Hey, is, <laughs> is type shit a Philly thing? No. In no. shit, no. like when niggas say, where, I don't know where when is. niggas like say in shit after a sentence, that's like kind of Philly shit. Because Matt Ox niggas kept like, saying type. Tight, tight. Because he, no, he can't swear, say, so he say can't say shit on like, camera. We say for real, for real. We say Philly's a place where niggas got their own swag, so niggas gonna put their own swag. On any type mm-hmm. language that like they got, like we, for instance, got our own language that niggas don't even understand half of the time, yeah. and like niggas really be trying to creep in and take that, but we be like, no, nah, buddy. Like, do you, do you feel like there's not that many other rappers besides you guys who are pushing like something real different in the sense that you guys are talking about black punk rock, hood goth, all this stuff? Yeah. It's like th- there are not a lot of rappers who I are mean, into we're that. Not like the ooh ya ya yeah ooh ya ya rappers, but that shit. that shit wouldn't no even one. stand out in L.A. because everybody's trying to be goth out here. You know, I. Feel I feel like you guys have like a different thing for Philly in particular. It's because if like we not golf, but if we wanted to, we really would be like golf niggas. Like we are like that's the type swag we are, but we not like really golf. Like our bitches are golf. Mm. Like that's cool. Like, I like our that. bitches are golf. So, like our souls are golf for sure. That's like a fact. definitely. Like it's more like we also it's. <laughs> We on some, we just on we some just like on DIY some dark shit. Soul shit. I don't man. dress golf, but like, we make dark we, music. Yeah, we definitely. Yeah. Generally, I can I consider my shit like black trap. You know what I mean? Because mm-hmm. I'm on some trap shit, but it's not. I'm talking about some like some you know what I mean dark shit at the same time. So I consider it black trap. Yeah. What about uh, just like the tread movement? Explain what tread is to the people out there. It's, just, it's hard to describe, hard to define. It's just like a fast, it's a, just a fast, pe- a fast, a fast paced boss battle mm-hmm. is what it sounds like to me every <laughs> boss time. Battle. It sounds like a boss yeah. battle, yeah. for real, for real. Like it's that's what it always sounds like to me. It's like when you're like going when to we, beat Bowser. I don't know, like I, I like I, like they they was really my they really my favorite fucking like like producers for real for real like in a lot of shit like even before like like I don't know before they like blew up in a sense. I, they was been our like our favorite niggas to work with, so I feel yeah, like we, we, we came up working together. on dying interview way before Matt to, Oxley. Yeah, yeah, like we came. I feel like we came up together in a sense though, because like we both was doing our thing. We was doing our thing on the rap aspect. They doing their thing on a on a on it a producing be. aspect. So like I just feel like we like like both came up together because when it came together, trapped in the trenches is a masterpiece for real for real. Mm-hmm. So like niggas love that like that was like some of our best shit and the third group tape gonna be in- man oh insane. man insane. So I hope <laughs> niggas prepare for the third oh, group yeah. tape, bro. Hook that off. shit is about to go insane, Love bro. Too. Yeah, and then we gotta do some shit together, bro. What do you mean? Like a video or some shit? Oh, let's do it. Like no jumper. Five. Hey, we could premiere a video. I'm down. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah, that sounds lit. good, actually. Yeah, yeah. So uh, you guys have put out three, two projects, two like group projects, two group projects. Right. Yep. The 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 uh, the second one, how we made it was like we really were just like linking up, we're working on dying, like mostly like every day, and we were like. That's when they had their student shit. We was just yeah. going in there listening to beats and shit. Yeah. I mean, they were making listening. they were making the most insane beats in front of us. Like 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 this nigga Forza took. This 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 like Final Fantasy shit. Oh yeah, the Final and then Fantasy. He was like, he was like, I'm about to make a beat of this. And then like, and then he like made the beat. Yeah. And I was like, whoa, like this is retarded. And then we made this song called Cast the Spell, and like that shit was just a banger. Like mm-hmm. it's just a banger. Like I wrote these lyrics right there, and then like their beats, and you like really inspired to like write write something like nice right there because. It's just like it's a nice beat. That's what a nice beat does, yeah, and all the beats are really what nice. They do man. Yeah, they really so, are. It's all about the beat. Nobody can do what they yeah. do. It's all about it what beat you what choose. Yeah. yeah, I know. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, because like I mean, that's a lot of my favorite shit has been over that production over the past couple of years. So I feel like Bro, that's, everybody yeah. wants their beats. Yeah, and people need to stop making fake trap beats. Like for real. Who's like, making fake ones? What's that sound like? The I don't fake know. Fake trap beats that. are horrible. We get them all the time. <laughs> oh really? Oh my gosh, right. bro. 
Oh, I'm not even gonna put nobody out there, but niggas be sending us. I don't even like checking our like, emails no more because of that. I'm not gonna put nobody out there, but niggas be sending us fake shots beats all the time, bro. Stop sending them Jones, like, yo, real rap. It's a difference between <laughs> it's a difference between like a nigga making just a fast paced beats, like a fast paced beat, and a nigga trying to make a tread beat. Like we can tell, bro. Like like we rapped on this shit. We know the ins and outs of that shit. Like we really I feel like we really the best niggas that really ever touch them Jones. Mm-hmm. Like honestly, we ever we really are the best bro, niggas that ever touch. Trip. Intentionally like, send us fake trade beats because they know we fuck with working on dying and we and yeah. we have a big relationship with them. Yeah. And that doesn't like be original, nigga. Like what the fuck yeah. is wrong with That's y'all? Like, we're we not gonna about. fuck with like, y'all you're because not of that. Gonna get like a placement from us doing that because we're all about originality. Mm-hmm. We're about making new sounds. We wouldn't have made a new sound with WOD if we wasn't if they, we both wasn't original. So yeah. that's how it is. That's dope. Yeah. What about the SGP influence? Because yeah. you guys were tripping out when uh, Xavier walked in earlier. Actually, yeah, you were the only one here. Yeah. <laughs> what? He was here? I, that's I seen, my first I time seeing him and shit, bro. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He just I walked in and you were like, Xavier, you were like, yo, I'm going to be honest. I, you, I'm a huge fan. <laughs> yeah, bro. I really am, bro. I fuck with Xavier. Yeah, really yeah, no, I was no, thinking, but, but I was thinking, I'm like, damn, that would be so weird to me if you weren't a big Xavier oh, fan, you know? Like, yeah. Of course, man. Everybody obviously can tell like that we fucked with Raider clan like yeah. heavy, like, it shows i feel like i feel like 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 niggas don't give enough credit to bnb like shout out shout out bnb because they really like writing they right there like they the hardest yeah, they beats that i've ever really heard like most of the time they sending me the hardest beats i've ever they heard the hardest production like, right now. shout out beats, bnb man. shout out bnb evil haze because evil every haze. beat that i touch by him that nigga just make me like want to go insane on that shit like that's how their shit is it's like grimy like they're like perps like i don't know like they remind me of perp but like they got their own steez to it that's why i fuck with them so mm-hmm. heavy because perp is just such a legendary nigga like niggas don't give him enough respect respect for real for real but niggas trying to really change that shit for real for real like yeah. it's like a trend to hate on perp mm. and i don't really like think that's, what we, for, like, that's what we here for man like that's what we here for like perp is my big bro like he always gives me advice and everything like that's really my nigga like so i don't know man niggas just be on some fool shit with him but niggas i feel like niggas just drove him crazy but <laughs> <laughs> i think it started out crazy like i think yeah. if anything he's maybe able to like dial it back a little bit now he's, he's good now he's good now he's about to he just, man, it. just wait yeah just wait i'm telling y'all you know, just he wait. almost did an interview a couple months ago with uh chapo but he should've. yeah he be, it would have been so be good be but, but he hit me up at the last man. minute and SCP, i'm like that's the man, he's like base guy but just like less respect he's like he's like some odd yeah. reason he's like the evil evil base guy because yeah, Lil B decided he wanted to be all about peace and unity, and Space Ghost decided that he wanted to be like an axe murderer. Yeah, like, fuck everybody. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yang. He That's the, really He yeah. the light, perp the dark and shit. Yeah. It's pretty pretty accurate. So, okay, like, did you guys get a cosign from SGP at a certain point or what? Like, oh, yeah. at an early ass point where we couldn't really? even do shit with it for, yeah. for like, At an early point, because this how it was. It was like our second video and shit, and like, yeah. he, he just tweeted that shit. Fucking, I don't even like but that. But we video. had more videos and songs out by then, but like, yeah. like, he fucked with that one. We couldn't believe it. Because, like, we was working with, like, uh, uh, Trill, this guy Trill, Trill Specter. Specter. Shout out Trill Specter because that was the first producer that ever sent us any beats. Mm. Yeah. That's so what we made our first fucking hit. We made like our first hit with him and had this Courage the Cowardly Dog sample and niggas was like fucking with it because of that. So we was like shout out him. But this nigga uh, Evil Haze he just, I don't know, how how did we link up with Evil Haze, bro? He just, he, 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 was, he just sent us some crazy shit that he, yeah. he like sampled Kingdom Hearts or some shit and we like love Kingdom Hearts. So when we heard it, we were just going bananas and like just ripping that fucking beat. And then that's when this nigga got noticed by Perp. And then Perp signed him to BMB and started BMB and got all these ill ass like pro- producers. The internet, man. Yeah. It's yeah. powerful, bro. It's powerful, bro. <laughs> Perp like Super. really like started another movement after the like the other shit was like kind of like falling down. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's still fucking out here, still doing stuff. He's still strong, bro. He managed to have a lot of really uh, funny viral tweets like a couple weeks ago. What was that about? Bro, that should be hilarious. Something happened that he was going off on. He started going insane once he dyed his hair red. (laughs) (laughs) No, no, not it wasn't when he dyed his hair red. It was when he shaved his head bald. That's when he started going insane. Really? Yeah, just a little bit though, just a little bit. One time, Lil Pump told me he just saw SGP just standing at the store. (laughs) Where? Yeah. He ain't say 
he, to him? He was in the, he was in the cut. You know, he was like fifteen at the time. He said oh, that, that he didn't know who he was. He just like saw him. It was yeah, just he like was damn. In the cut. He was in the cut. I don't know. Somehow that is just like a hilarious scenario <laughs> to me. So a little pump walks up to SGP outside a corner store. <laughs> oh man. All right. Um. Yeah. So all right. Let's let's talk about this though. The enemies merch is what I think a lot of people have like seen that they maybe maybe Hold don't on. know that it's coming from you guys and everything. Uh, uh, I just got a shirt actually. Let me see that. Let me see Young that. Mojo. Let me see that lighter, bro. Where did this lighter, come bro. from? Did this predate the V Lone beef or did this cause lighter, the beef? Bro. This uh No, I can I'll I can chime him. in. I'll let me let, 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 let me please chime in, bro. <laughs> you got let it. Let me please chime in. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Bro, we're gonna both chime in. We're gonna tag team, bro. We're gonna tag team, bro. Cause it started with me, bro. It started with look, me. Look, Keep it a bean. What happened? Look. Keep it a bean. I like that. Oh, that's another Philly sling. <laughs> but, uh, you mean, what happened when you mean, it was some perp shit, like, because, you know, we fuck with perp and all that, and he was, like, posting some enemy shit. And we he like, posted enemies. And he was like, oh, that's some, that's some hot shit and all that. And then we was like, oh, we thought he was going to do something with all he that. He never did. Yeah. He never did nothing. And then we was like, damn, like, what the fuck? That would have been hot. And then... That uh, ASAP shit happened. What happened? And, and, uh, All right, so yeah, the ASAP shit happened. Yeah, ASAP, shit, it was, they was ta- it was. Shout out Taco L first off <laughs> before I start this shit, but yeah, no. Nah, so shout out Taco Bell. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love the Taco burritos. Bell, be good I don't it. actually. As long as we're gonna be keeping no, a buck, let's keep like it a bean. Bell. I don't like Taco Bell. Keep it a bean. Let's keep it a bean. <laughs> Taco Bell. No, Man, so look, shout so out so what happened was we dropped trapped in the trenches. And then one of these, like, this nigga ASAP. Um, it was 12 ASAP 12 had said, like, he was tweeting something about him Him and Ant was tweeting something about going buku. And that was a song, like, the, like that was a song on the, uh, on the no, shit. No, so we was like, like, well, we didn't really say nothing. We didn't know what was going on. Then that's when Filthy had added them. And he was like, oh, uh. Boys were boys hip to working on dying. I see you. So then that's when the nigga 12 of was trying to be like, huh? Like, what y'all talking about? Like, on some cloudy shit. <laughs> and then niggas was like, niggas was like, show, niggas showed him the uh, screenshot. And then that's when all our fans, like, our fans, shout out all our supporters, our fans, bro. Fuck got fans. Real supporters. These niggas is supporters, bro. Like, shout out all our supporters. We're going to make it to the top from them because they was the ones that was coming at him. And had him mad, like mad to the point where he was like, uh, he was saying like, oh yeah. So at the time, this nigga's name on Twitter was Young Hood Golf. He was like, yeah. oh yeah, I'm about to, I'm about to make a, I'm about to change my name to Young Hood Golf. I'm about to, like all yeah. this, all I'm this about crazy to make shit. I'm about to make a track called Five Finger, Finger Posse. All this crazy shit, like basically saying he was gonna jock us, mm-hmm. and then, and then like. That's when the other nigga Ant had like just said like I'm not gonna give y'all no this is the only promotion I'm gonna give y'all but fuck five finger posse and then we was he like, tweeted that yeah thanks thanks Ant nah, thanks, nah, nah I think, I think he, he deleted, deleted that, that John he deleted it but it's like it's somewhere up there like you can still find it he's probably seeing people uh, retweet it all the time and got like, sick of if seeing you it pop up deep <laughs> in the dark <laughs> web you'll find it the dark web if you search deep in the dark web you'll find it the dark web yeah ain't that where they got all the heroin and child porn and shit yeah yeah. Okay. You can get believe. like guns off that shit too. They're not even gonna believe because this is what happened. The nigga hopped in my DM. The nigga, the nigga, uh, twelve hopped in my DM and he said he was talking all this. Uh, yeah, like what's up with all like this beef shit, blah blah this. I want y'all to be safe in New York, blah blah this. And he was like, <laughs> y'all up next and all this other shit. It basically, was weird, just basically like... telling me the whole time that he was trying to front on us in the tweets, but in the DMs. He was on some homage shit. Hmm. And we was just like, what the, I got this shit. I can show niggas this shit. I can bring it up at any time. Like, it's there. Like, Secret spies. It's there, bro. <laughs> and then, he, we, like, we was talking and everything, bro. We was talking and everything. He was, like, we was cool with each other. Like, after that, like, because I was just like, you know what I'm mean? Like, fuck it. Like, fuck all the beef shit at the end of the day, because that shit don't get nobody no bread. But at the end, but after all was said and done. Niggas somehow came out with jackets, black jackets. Yeah, and they just it just had all these fobs on it. And we yeah, like man. we thought that that had something to do with us because yeah, of the we, situation yeah. that happened with those ASAP niggas taking the sauce. Yeah, so they, like, we just they we made just them. They made yeah. V-Lone jackets with like five, like six fives on it. We're triple five. Mm. They, it's like they put six fives to one up us. They've never said anything about it, 
But that's just how we felt. Like, and we felt like they was just like kind of profiting and off our like likingness. Hmm. Like, so, did you, did you say anything on Twitter when you saw that? Yeah, we did yeah, a lot. Yeah. We did a lot. Dude, and no. the, fans, the fans, bro, the fans, the fans to see somebody wearing that joint. Like niggas, I seen somebody seen like Metro booming in that joint. They added me to that joint. They was like, oh, this joint Aki type shit. Am I gonna be lone beef if I wear that shirt? Is that how that works? I never really thought nah, about bro, like that. It's not even it's that. Not even that. It's not, it's not even that. even that. It's just like a fan, a fan, stand, a fan stand, of Five Finger Posse might smack the shit out you if you have a V lone shirt on. It stands for. It so don't beware. even stand for that. For real, for it, it don't just, stand for nothing. We just. uh we just the other side. side. Like, we just the other side. Like we it's just another friends. side. Like, we just another side. Like, yeah, enemies is way enemies. more lit, man. Like niggas fuck with that shit. Yeah, I mean, no shade at Vlon, but I would rather wear an enemy shirt than That's a French shirt. Like, I'm about to do a Nike. Like, I'm about to do a Nike friendly. collab. So it's like <laughs> I'm about to do a <laughs> Nike collab. Nike, collab. <laughs> Nike they're gonna be mad as fuck. I don't even care. <laughs> That's funny. Nike, come here. I need some forces. You so, mean? so what? You had a run in with them like the other day. Yeah. Let's hear about that. Yeah, I see them the <laughs> Why other, not? I see them the other day, bro. Hey, oh, shout, out, shout out the whole ASAP. I got mad love I for ASAP. No Rest in peace, ASAP no, Yams. Their affiliates are kind of, they fuck with their uh, affiliates and shit. Like, the music is cool and whatnot, but they just some, like, I don't know, they just act weird. Yeah, yeah they was just act, like, in the store. Like, so when they walked in, he said, what's up to me and shit. And I was just like, like, like he just, I said, what's up back? And then he just started looking around, like, so I got the sense, like, he didn't know who the hell I was at first. And this I'm happens just, to me all the time, yeah, where I beef with people like, and I don't remember who I'm they like, are, yeah. I'm like, dude, like, I'm like, yeah, like, I'm like, dude, we were talking before, and he was like, about what? And he was like, he was like, he was like, about what? And I was like, Five Finger Posse. And then he froze up for a little bit, and then he was like, oh, yeah, well, y'all, y'all was getting ahead of yourself on the internet and blah, blah, this. <laughs> And I'm just like, all right, bro. I you mean, came at us first. I guess. I mean, because <laughs> like you came at us first. Like Ray J. We never said nothing really disrespectful to you. It was the niggas who support us. What they were saying when the shit happened, they was like, <clears throat> it was like, oh, them niggas jock, it, them niggas jock Raider Clan, and they jock, they jock, it, they jock, they jock, they jock uh, golf money. Now they coming for five because we us golf money and Raider Clan are in heavy leagues with each other. Like right. we are right. Close to each other in like means of like the fans units. and shit. The fans yeah. like we relate like, us to relate, them. A they lot. relate us so much because of yeah. per, for, for and because of a lot, of, a lot of the type of moves we make. Like, but that's why that happened. Like, we never really wanted no beef with them niggas. Like, so it was really strange that niggas was saying fuck us. But then once they hopped in the DM, they was they were saying we up next and that they fuck with us. And then I seen them in the store and they was just talking all this cloudy shit. He like he was like, oh y'all ants to us and all this other <laughs> shit. And I'm just like, all right, bro, I guess. <laughs> like y'all niggas got it, bro. Because at the end of the day, y'all about to see what type time we on. Like we real niggas, bro. Like we don't. Don't play around for real for we from a place where like shit could get critical. So I had to let him I had to let him be for there. It's like whatever, like like I cause I really don't have no beef with them niggas. Like and for real for real, shout out to Perp, cause that's really like my big brother. This nigga already was telling me in the DMs. He was like, Yeah, bro, to keep it keep it 100. He told me like just out of nowhere. He said for real, for real, if anything, y'all should get cool with them niggas. Y'all should not beef with them Amen. niggas. Y'all Unity. should not beef with them because we. I don't want my beef to simmer off and affect y'all shine and glow. Mm-hmm. Bro, this could turn into a whole nother two, like Tupac and Biggie type shit, yo. It's like <laughs> Between New York and Philly? Who's going to kill who? Man. We don't want that, though. We don't, we don't want, want to even we, talk I, about I that, you know? Time, like, that shit is, I be in New York all the time. Bro, I situation. love New York. Shout out my nigga Trip. He in the cut. He's from New York. Yeah. So That's like, definitely not. No, no deaths. Trip no deaths, Jones please. Shit. Circle 5 shit. Like shout out, shout like come on, bro. R. Shout R. out to New York. I fuck with New York, but it's like all them niggas. That's that's how it is, bro. Like Buck Juggin. Yeah. In in area of T circle yeah, five, you got the T, whole team. Too, yeah, but yeah, man, like we don't want this shit to turn into some like you know what I'm saying, Tupac and Biggie type shit because it is that big, low key. Like you know what yeah, I'm saying, bro. But, it's a deep rooted shit into the whole like they whole shit. We should not have no nothing to do with it. Mm. But they sort of brought us. You know what I'm saying? You're talking about just like ASAP slash Raider Clan yeah, beef but that they is, sort of like you know. brought us into it. And it's saying it's, it's 2017. Like some, it's Shouldn't like that be some, over now? Yo, it's like some uh, it's like some Naruto Sasuke shit. It's like we on some uh, lineage type shit. Yeah, <laughs> niggas trying to niggas just like put us in that. You mean it's just like it's because of like the relations together. we have with like Perp and all that that they're going put us in that category. So, well, something yeah. to talk about. 
That's good. I hope nobody gets hurt. But nah, man. I didn't like Shots that. Ain't no, it ain't none of that. Shout out ASAP and all them, man. Like, ASAP, it ain't no beef or none Shots of that. It's just like, you know, no niggas just be acting weird. Hmm. And niggas gave us a reason to do this enemy shit. And thank you for making this. Another get, thing is, it's shit. okay to give recognition to an artist that you feel is going to be popping in the future. Yeah. You don't have to try to stunt their growth by keeping them a secret. Like, that's what he was basically trying to do with us. Like, like he was trying to support us from afar, like, by, like, tweeting our shit because no one would know that that's what he was talking about. He definitely retweeted the uh, Black Punk Rock. He retweeted Black Jones Punk Rock, up, and it went Jones, up. Up, that Jones, up, he retweeted that It went up. up after he retweeted it. So that's what yeah. I'm saying, bro. Like, it's no beef, but niggas just want, like... Niggas just want it to be genuine, like, in any sense. Like, when the interaction happens, the shit should be genuine. That shit just didn't feel genuine. Yeah. So that's all it was. I feel you. Um, you know what's interesting is I was writing down some fan questions, and somebody said, uh, somebody said, how do you tell a girl you would like to fist her? But then, but then, this, oh, yeah. but, but something this interesting happened is that it, it, it auto-corrected to how do you tell a girl you would like to fight her, which is, that's... You Less just, appropriate. I mean, Fisting that shit, that over fighting. That just makes me if you trying to rumble. Like, <laughs> First off, if you're trying, you trying to fist the girl, you definitely don't got to take her out. For nah. one, like, you don't got to take the gun <laughs> you out. You don't want any food her. inside her. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> you fisted just, girls? I never fisted girls. It's pretty girl. much just smoke a L with her. <laughs> That's pretty turn. Get the, get the, this? you know, get the jelly, you know. Shorty a cannon if she Get the jelly, that. throw it on your hand. I got big the, oh, You got to get a glove first and shit. Get a glove, a glove. and just <laughs> stuff that shit in her, like, you know. <laughs> and do what you got to do, bro. You know, if you, if you into that, I'm not into Man, that. Man, I had a homie back when I was younger who told me that he was literally fisting a girl and her mom walked in and looked right at his his fist inside her vagina. And I'm just like how does a mom react to that i gotta be on like acid or some type of shit if i'm doing some shit like that like this <laughs> thing a girl in front of her mom weed and, like, <laughs> that bitch yeah, a cannon who and drink yeah. liquor that's Whoever about it if you get fisted, fisted a cannon. you a cannon you should yeah, she was do she was chasing him around the house that's, he's naked she was yeah, chasing him the, fuck? Yeah, the mom <laughs> the girl's like screaming like, to stop to, uh, uh salvia and shit probably <laughs> man you guys down to smoke some salvia i never did it but i've seen all my friends do it what is that Salvia? Salvia is like the opposite opposite of marijuana. It's like I don't know. It's insane. just some crazy ass plant that when you take it, you have like a fucking five minute like psychedelic ride, and it's not. Yeah, I'm gonna start punching walls. I watched all my friends do it back in the day, and it's fucking crazy. I never yeah, tried it. It's not cool at all. Just smoke weed. I seen way too many salvia videos to not yes. to know not to do that shit. We, we had a super viral like salvia video of the, our friend doing it, and it just like loses his mind. He's like, Grr. is he good now? <laughs> yeah, he's all right now, but he got That's so cool. mad that we stole the video from his computer and put like, it online. Ooh. I always think he wanted every to time kill somebody us. do salvia, they're gonna die or some shit. I mean, I seen a wicked funny video of a guy fucking falling out the window off it. He smokes it. He stands up, jumps yeah, out the window. Died. I think he died and shit. I mean, shit. Rest he deserves peace. to die for fucking yeah, bro, taking yeah. salvia that close to a window. Yeah, rest in death. I shouldn't say that. He doesn't deserve right, to die. Death, <laughs> rest in death, man. All right. What, what about this PNB Rock shit? This is a fan question. They're like, <laughs> shout out PNB Rock. I did his interview. Yeah. No. Man, I know you're from Philly, but me personally, I just didn't. I can't rock, I can't with, rock with him for life. You just can't respect it, bro. Ooh, I can't respect it. What were your thoughts before the little B beating? I'm going to say about that shit is. Yo, and before the little B beating, bro, I'm not even going to lie. That took his. That I'm not even going to lie. Before the little B beating, that took his points down with me bro mm. i i like like i respected the fact that that nigga made to the fucking like the xl and everything like i still respect it but like damn bro really, man like, like damn bro like, all... i can't believe he was involved in it that's wild bro Real like shit. damn i can't even rock with that that's wild bro but b is a legend bro i met Lil b bro yeah, shout at out, a yeah. free concert he, here in la he this got nigga gave me his versace glasses he got bro. glasses by i Lil have b. the glasses bro <laughs> whoa i have yeah, them bro pretty rare like, we talk like this nigga is cool bro mm. like this nigga like nobody should want to put their hands on a nigga like that yeah. over nothing so but it's like it i'm gonna me, say it's like damn bro about that situation is that shit was bnb i mean pnb rock bro if you're watching this that shit was not based bro yeah bro for all my base fam out there and shit bro fact, that was not bro. a base move uh a boogie with the hoodie or the track fucking suit or whatever I mean, he you was call based it. for apologizer he was bro. based for apologizing, but the whole oh. action is still not based, bro. Still not based, based, bro. Though. You're not getting no base no. pass for that, no G pass I'm not for happy that, that they uh, sorted it out, you know? Yeah, because like, Lil B, he's cool, he yeah. he a, he a different type nigga, you mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but anybody else, man, that shit wouldn't have rock like that, bro. Like, yeah. Shouts out Lil B, man. Like I said, that nigga like my dad, bro. Like, <laughs> real shit. I heard that... Uh, 
A Boogie and P and B were like supposed to do mad shit with all these rappers out there, like in the Bay after that show, and then the, the, the little B thing happened, and everybody was like, "Nah, I was all right, we can't do it." They took him off. They took him off of this big show. I remember. Much love. Yeah. I like P and B Rock a lot. I hung out with him, so I got I got to show punishment. love. I'm not they hating took at all. Off. Yeah, I'm glad I that, liked, I'm glad I that happened. I actually liked the cool with him and me him before that happened, man. Like, no, he's a nice guy. I mean, he's not hurting from know, getting man. taken off that shit. He's still getting banned, so. Yeah, he doesn't get it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know, though, man. I, when, I, when, I, when I saw that, I'm Yo, like, man, the because... underground are not going to take that very well. You know, like, yeah, that's, that's tough. Nobody from the underground the niggas who jumped But you know B. how Lil B is, though? You niggas know? in the comments, they said the nigga who jumped Lil B was wearing V-Lone. Was he? Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Wow. Lil wow. B, we got to get you some enemies. That's wild. Let's get you some enemies, man. We got to get you some enemies, bro. Yeah. Um, all right. You gotta get being some enemies. You, okay, another uh, fan question. Just about graffiti in general. Like, fucking, is that like, no, do, how much of that influence like your oh, overall me. style? Because people who do graffiti know that that is a like I was only did for me. a few years, but we were running around crazy. Wait, That's a while. Yeah, but when I was like fourteen to like sixteen or seventeen. Oh. But I was hitting freights nonstop because we had freight? we had a crazy freight train yard bro, in, in my town. No, I'm not even. Oh, on I bet that it's gnarly shit. in Philly. Listen, yeah. bro. Yeah, so in Philly, right? It's where Graf started. Mm. And like, yeah, it's this Graf nigga really Cornbread. Started. It's this nigga Cornbread. This nigga wrote on the Jackson 5 plane. Mm. Like, they private jet. This nigga broke into the fucking, he broke into the fucking, uh, the zoo, the Philadelphia Zoo, and wrote his name on an elephant. And this nigga got booked for that shit. So he's like one of the most legendary writers. And what Philly's about is tags. Mm. Like, that's what, like, yeah, Philly, you come to Philly. Philly hand style is super hands, hands, like, heavy. You, you come tell, to Philly, yeah. we, we care mostly about tags. Like, like tall hands. Wicked. Yeah, the tall we have shit, wickets, yeah. We have gangster hands. We have all types of, like, crazy different styles that we originated. And, like, maybe other people took to their place and did what they want. Like, pieces and, and throw-ups, like throwies, that was brought to Philly. Mm. Like, I feel from like New York. that was brought to Philly yeah. from New York. Yeah. Pieces could have been from Cali. Because when you think about pieces, like they typically are like, they look like they're made for a freight train, you know? It's like height wise yeah. and everything. It just looks, well, I guess it's like that's the average person's height in general. So I'm kind of bullshit. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, that, like that became the crazy thing in New York. And then it sort of like yeah. exported itself all Yo, over the world from that. It's bombed out, bro. I'll be there all the time. It's bombed out, bro. Yeah. It's still like they don't, they don't. They don't buff anything. Really? They don't buff anything. I feel like they don't buff anything. Well, they buff a lot less in like Brooklyn and Queens, but I feel like in It'll the city is like, way they, too they, they bomb, Like niggas bomb that shit out, bro. Like, shit out. You could probably go there and just do what the fuck ever yeah. at night and like yeah, probably in the daytime. Like <laughs> niggas probably can do whatever they want there because yeah. that shit is bombed out, bro. Like huge, like huge it'd shit. Be t- it'd be hard huge to fucking shit. find a spot to even hit. Yeah, but North Philly just be full of like hands and tags. Yeah, tags. But they the buff is real in. Philly. Really? It's not next this, day. It, the buff. They don't fuck with next, shit. Next day, bro. They don't fuck with next shit. Next day, they not. Fu- they not. Now they, they not playing shit. because they have like the grab squad. Like one time, one time. This is crazy though. One time, my old head was telling me how one of his old heads was out writing one night. He had wrote. On, he had wrote. He was like about to write on something. Then the car came up, right? And kind of like, so when he came, he like threw the can somewhere, like just threw it somewhere. So when the cops got him, they started asking him all these names of writers. Like, yo, do you know this guy? Do you know this guy? They asked him my name. Really? Because this time, at this time, I was going bananas in the city, like Mm -hmm. bananas in the city. Everywhere you went in Philly, bro, you seen crab, bro. Everywhere you went, you seen crab, bro. bro, We're going to keep it like. Like, I was just doing my thing, bro. But, like, I was just, like, fuck it. Like, like after a while, I just got tired of fucking my shit up. And I got tired of, like, getting in trouble. So I mm-hmm. just cleaned it up and I was like, fuck it. But I love graph. Like, it's like, like I don't know. I still be, I be still doing shit in the books once in a while. But, like, I can't, I can't, I got too much ahead of me to mm-hmm. really risk at this point to get in trouble. Because yeah. I don't know. I just don't want to do it at this point. You know, when I think about it now, I'm not really scared of doing, like, tags and shit. I would, I would not feel scared at all. Whereas, like, when I was younger, I was a little nervous. In Philly, yeah, we yeah, take more times we, for our yeah. tags. We take more time for our tags because... We, we 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 like perfect we you have to perfect it like there's like you gotta like you know what i'm saying when you do fast tags like you, it really comes out sloppy mm. so like what we are about we like doing your shit Intricate, precise yeah. like like straight letter everything like 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 because you see some a1 hands it's the best hands ever bro like i love my city for that reason like, i love that like it's the best hands you can find like graph is really in my soul bro like once i started like my man 
He walked up to a wall. He was like, he walked on the shit. I'm like, whoa, bro, what is you doing? Like, you can't do that. And he was like, what? What you mean? I'm doing the throwy. He just started doing the shit. I'm like, damn, this shit is cool. Like, I wish I could do that. Yeah. And then I started like doing it and I got better than his ass. Like, I got <laughs> way better than him. I put him in the dust. Mm-hmm. And that's my man. Shout out, shout out JR. But, <laughs> but like, like. I, like I just started going ham, like because I was meeting a lot of OGs. Like in Philly, it's a lot of OGs that was around since Grav started that mm. can teach you the ins and outs of everything you want to know about that shit. Like it's crazy. Like even an out of towner could come to Philly and like learn for a little bit. You'll have a nice Philly hand, mm-hmm. but it will take practice. I need a Philly hand. It's so nice, bro. You, I can show steak. you. I can show you. <laughs> I can definitely show you. Like it's nice, bro. That's what's up. Yeah. Uh, How do y'all feel when the whole Maddox thing exploded out of Philly like a few months ago? We fuck with Maddox. Yeah. yeah that We're just working on dying stamps. Before, it, before, before it even happened, yeah, before it even happened, we was about to work with, we was we was already going to work with him. We still want to work with him. Yeah, I did my first, his first show and shit. I was, yeah. I was at yeah, uh, uh, his yeah. first show. Shout that's, out Maddox. That's the crazy thing is that like those are the biggest tread beats that I've ever gotten. You know, like like that's what, like the thing that really stood out to me about it is people were talking about like, oh, it's a twelve year old white kid he's rapping. But the real thing that stood out for it was that it was, the song sounded crazy because it was a crazy ass beat and shit. Yeah. You know, he had a good voice and good delivery and uh-huh. everything. But that was like that's the biggest the tread beat, beat ever got. Hard, really, when you play that yeah. shit the in the car, lacking, it's yeah. the same, bro. <laughs> and when that shit he's hit the cool masses, oh, yeah, when a song cool like kid. that hit the masses, like he that shit's gonna go live. He shows love. He's a cool kid. Like, yeah. Like I don't think niggas should hate on him at nah, all. For real, for real, he's a great, real. He's a great cool guy. kid. Love, yeah. love that kid. Yeah, he's still face on. Actually, face on the other day. And yeah. him, like, feel bad. Yeah. Yeah, he's a cool kid. Shout out to Maddox. One bro. time he was uh, facetiming me, and like he points it at his mom, and he goes, "Hey, ma." Who got more clout? Me or Adam Twenty Two? And she oh. she didn't realize it was FaceTime, so she lit. gives like a totally honest answer. She goes, "Hey, Dad, so be nice to him." What? <laughs> That's fucking. Lit, yeah. I got to see this weird behind the scenes <laughs> moment where his mom was like, "Be nice to him. He's got more clout than you." That's fucking. Oh, lit. That's lit. I don't know if I agree with that. I feel like more people know Maddox than me. No. Two most well known white guys in the underground. Yes. And Young Lean. And shout out Curb Lagoop. Curb Lagoop. Oh, okay, shout yeah. out Curb Lagoop. Niggas Conversation don't... over. Me and Maddox are two and three. Yeah, Curb Lagoop's number one. Like, Curb Lagoop's been my nigga since, since like, the, like way, way, way back because we was basically, like, pen pals and shit because I seen that this, this nigga used to be named DJ Kirby. Mm-hmm. He would make like all these rare chopped and screwed versions of tapes. Like yeah. before, like all the other niggas that did that, he was the first person that put that on the map. He used to do Lil, all the Lil B shit to the point where Lil B would comment on his yeah, shit, uh, like he, on that piff. He, he's, like, a, he's a base. We used to he's talk. In the base and family. then once this nigga, once this nigga like fucking started rapping, I heard his rap and I hit him up. I'm like, bro, 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 bro. <laughs> this is insane, bro. Right. You like, what the fuck? I never knew you could even rap. And this shit goes. Like we, we was slapping non-stop yeah. curly hoop for real, for real, bro. It's crazy trying to kill lot, me. I never talked to him, but we were just having the same conversation with Lil Tracy in them. A lot of this shit that's yeah, got, going on, and shit with yo, a lot too. of this shit that's going on in this wave right now, like happened because like of like this community and shit, the base world community. Yeah, you bro. Know what I'm saying like, oh yeah, it was yeah, before yeah. like a lot of niggas was even rapping. Like it's like, like my, fuck with B and just kept listening to him. Yeah. Once you're into base world, you're ba- you're pretty much into any like you can get into like I don't know. I feel like. We a lot always, of, bro, a lot of a lot of these little a lot of these rap niggas that's popping right now come from base world. They come mm. from base world. Yeah. They they You know they who really from comes shit. from base world? Doesn't Brent come from base world, bro? Brent Rambo. I swear to yeah. God. He's, he's from, from base world, he's bro. From he's from heavy, he's heavy from base from base world, bro. Sure he's base world, bro. All the real niggas remember 2012 based based Twitter. Like that's where like a lot of this new music came from that era yeah, of Twitter like, yeah. when base like, Twitter. When base Twitter when everyone was just trying to like go viral off of being like memes. Yeah. Lil B's oh, first oh, mixtape. Shout out, yo, shout out Mike Shields, bro. Hey, Twice. Shout out up, Mike Shields. Up, y'all, got, y'all got y'all got to get you. That's real base. That's real base. Shout out real base music, bro. Yeah, shout yeah, out Mike yeah. Shields. Shout out Tesla forever. Cuz I don't know, like we just fuck with we fuck with shit that's bass, like yeah, so anything bass. We we pretty much a lot right. of stuff that used to remind us a little like a little bit like influence. We was like, yeah, we <laughs> fuck with this. Like we held on, like mm-hmm. and like even like other influence. Like our one of our biggest influences is Metro Zoo. Like yeah. Metro yeah. Zoo is really like Lofty Three Hundred Five and Ruben Slick. All of yeah. them. Is yeah, our they don't biggest. really get the credit they deserve. They at this don't. Point. Yeah. They don't. 
Does Slick you really one of the hottest like, rappers, man. He be Slick, doing shit. Slick started the colored dread wave. Bro, Slick. Slick started the <laughs> colored dread wave. First nigga with the colored dreads. <laughs> Everybody says that, too. That's a big contribution right there because, like, <laughs> I, you know, that's the one thing I can guarantee is if I see a black dude with colored dreads coming towards me, like, we're, we're having, I, I either like know who I, he yeah, is or I, he knows I, I, who I, I, I am. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. I had this argument with Buck Jugging, like, fucking a few days ago and shit, and I told him that the only niggas that get a pass with colored hair is Jamaicans. I am Jamaican. And that's a fact. That's a fucking fact, bro. The only nigga. Bob Marley the only, the only the only one. Bob Marley had his hair dyed. I don't oh, give a that's fuck. Pretty, that's, that's, solid. Most, that's the most cliche person you can ever Imagine name. Imagine Bob Marley that's with Jamaican. purple dreads. Bob Marley's washed. It don't matter. We can't hear you on the mic. We fuck with the color hair way, bro. All ja- ah! a lot, not all Jamaicans, but a lot of Jamaicans do, bro. Even if you go to J- Jamaica, bro, hit, hit the land, bro. Hit the land. Hit the land, man. <laughs> But hey, yeah, is being Jamaican making a comeback? To uh, keep having this conversation. Out, shout out Haiti, you mean? Shout out my Zos, you mean? Zos in the building. I, don't know, I might make a reggae track one day. Ooh. Yeah. But uh, cheese steaks, though, man. That's like my biggest. That's one of my biggest in, 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 in inspirations. Can I can confide in you guys? Like, I used to go to Philly all the time because I lived in Brooklyn for like seven years, oh, and shit. I would go there, and I would always be mad, hungry. Once I got off that fucking Chinatown bus, so I would go cop me like a Wawa cheese steak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me, Wawa, shit. Wawa, Wawa, Sorry, Wawa I know I ain't authentic Wawa, like that. Wait, Wawa still, you the mean? You could order from my iPad. That yeah, shit was yeah. kind of fire. Shit, Look, boo, boo, boo. The West Coast, y'all you know, know, but y'all gotta get hip to Wawa. If you on the East Coast, West. Coast, you gotta get hip to Wawa. I don't fuck with dairy like look, that. And then you can steal from Wawa. Super easy. Oh, yeah. You can yeah, yeah. steal. Bro, I still go and steal up. like $30 Wawa, worth of food. Wawa be sleeping, yo. Sleep and have you go. Yeah. You don't rob the Wawa. Sandwich. They don't care. They're they down. They don't care. They let you go. They just look at you like they have no chase policy. They can't stop you. They teach their employers. Don't but we about to make them niggas have it. No chase, no case. They about to switch that shit up. No chase, no case. I'm going to make a shirt that says that. That's good. I'll be buying shit, though, at the end of the day. Oh, no, I'll be buying shit. We about to lose all our fans because of that shit, bro. Yeah. Nah, that's cool. Yeah, we not I mean, hold up. Nah, shout out Essentia, though, man. Nah, you yeah, guys should go with that. That should be like your yeah. brand is like, no, nah, we them shoplifter rappers. Like, you guys want to rap about selling coke? Ah. Cool, we shoplifting. Shouts out Boon Gang, man. <laughs> I'm about to do a Boon Gang. Gang. I'm about, I'm about to do a Boon Gang versus 5G. And shit. I'm about to just fucking jug all this shit in all these stores and, and bro, just do that shit. A lot live. of 5 shit, man. Bro, I was yeah, with Boon Gang the other day for the first time. You know what you said to me? Oh, I, Boom gang, whole lot of gang shit. That was it. Where? Yeah. <laughs> so, you know. That, nigga lit, yo. that was to be expected. I feel like I seen all his fucking YouTube videos, yo. He's super lit, bro. He came out at the pump show. He didn't even ask or anything. He came out and stage dive. He's like, that's my first time doing that. <laughs> Yeah, bro, shut he's up, dumb man. With. I mean, he's on some other that's shit. Some I, I heard that. Black he, Joker. I heard that he just found out about Zans. So yeah, he's taking way too yo, many Zans. Did you see that video? Did you see Stop that video? taking Zans. Wait, hold on. Did you see that video so of him throwing up doing? when he was chilling with Pump and shit? Nah. It was like a night when he was chilling with Pump and it was on YouTube and he was like throwing up the night. It was like the night of and he was like after, like he was in the club and he was like throwing up off the Zans and shit. Like, hold up. Yeah, I got to I gotta make a statement off the Zans. I need everybody to stop popping these Zans. You mean if your Xanax yeah, says, yeah, yeah. if we, your Xanax spells out Xanax. Don't pop oh, no. that joint. I did that shit. Killing once yourself. Said, no, don't do it. That shit is that done. Shit. Stop yeah. popping yeah. Zans. You mean Zan is done? That. Listen, I'm not talking shit about your religion, so don't talk shit about mine. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> we drinking. Oh, we not popping yeah, Zans. Man, man. We drinking I mean, big water. No, but everybody me, thinks I take mad Zans because I'll be honest about Let having done. Shout out Essential. If I get on like a uh, like a yeah, flight, that's the only time I'm popping a Zan. I'm probably gonna take a Zan, bro. I'm sleep purposes. Love the Air Zan. Air Zan's great. Because look, if you if you pop a Zan, you mean I mean you gonna feel good and shit. I mean I'm not gonna lie, you feel good. I'm in the Mile High Zan Club. But you just gonna go to sleep and you lacking like you get robbed like you could on a plane. Not on a plane, but like niggas, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. niggas popping yeah, zans in the street, saying while driving and shit. Taking zans while niggas driving, be that's trapping. the most lit Bro, you experience think you could beat Mike probably. Tyson's ass if he was off like three zans? Definitely. <laughs> yeah, like that's like that's, that's how much it evens shit out. Yeah, fighting, bro. That's insane. Two niggas, two niggas taking a zan fighting, bro. That's drawing, bro. Oh no, but I'm saying if you were sober and you had like you know a really really crazy like UFC fighter in front of you, but he's off a bunch of zans, that motherfucker gonna be neutralized. He's gonna have that zanger. No one hit, no one hit off of that nigga. He can still. Down you though, he gets nah, but you ever fight somebody who's super drunk and they're all, hmm. but he's a UFC fighter, all it takes is one hit. You're probably right. Bro, but I'm just saying the Zans make you so you weak and you're not coordinated. Yeah, like, and he going to be trending. He don't even need Zans make you feel drunk, He going to throw like, that shit. Drunk. He going to crack you, bro. You and the, the, collide, the collide of his. Yeah. Shout out to my nigga, man. You, you, ever, have to, like, <laughs> you ever have to actually like do anything when you're on Zans? Like, you, you ever have to like run? 
Like you're on Zans and for some reason you got run. Again, again, it's a long run. If you pop Zans, at least get some top off the Zans. That's one thing you got. Hell yeah, I love Zan top. Yeah. That's what you got. That sounds thorough. Yo, but we got to take every time somebody fucking takes Zans, they lose some shit. Oh my god, on tour with Pump and Perp, every five minutes, yo, I lost my debit card. Yo, I lost my phone. Like they just be losing everything. That shit, that shit, critical. That's why it's in me. Like you be lacking it. Like you just be lacking so hard. That's why I don't do the Zans, bro. I did this shit once and and I. I fell asleep on my cousin porch and I woke up in the morning, bro. Can't like, bro. I, wo- I I took that shit at night. Woke up in the morning. I said, "Never again, bro." That's good, yeah. Never again. Yeah, I was said. I was fucked up. Is that they're so cheap too? They're too cheap. I'm just, I'm just going. I stay away. I got half of one of my drawer in my house. It's been there for like a week. I'm trying to trying to avoid yeah, that last half. Just, don't do Zans, kids. Not cool. You, nah, you, need, not cool. you can smoke weed. Just don't do Zans. You can still make it in the rap game and not do Zans. I was saying earlier that you guys were, were kind of charming to me because I'm so used to being around leaned out rappers at this point that you guys were all like talking about getting drunk. I'm like, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need like some yeah. I like Good for you. Drunk. They were talking about some, drinking. Yeah. I, I need the do drink? sponsor. Uh, I hate drinking. I'll just be smoking. Yeah, mm-hmm. Hennessy for me, man. I'm a big, you mean, because you mean, yeah, I'm, just a, be I'm an island. Me and my, my people's come from the islands and shit. I'm Haitian, so. You mean niggas just be drinking, so I just yeah. be drunk as fuck. I like, yeah. I like that shit. <laughs> Lean is like a you weird super too. powered drug that only rappers know about. I, but I'm not even Man, lie. this shit be Look. cut, man. Oh, let's keep talk about that. Philly got a crazy lean cut, history. Man. Yeah. No, keep it on Philly, Philly niggas. Shit, niggas. Oh, hella Shout hella out to shit. Mac, Beanie yeah. Siegel. Yeah. He taught me a lot about the hella, drink when I was a kid, yeah. Niggas sipping hella K Roll. And they were smoking backwoods too. They was they were sipping lean and smoking backwoods in like oh, They were, yeah, yeah. They were all wooded out, yeah. State prop been doing that. That's crazy, man. I learned to start smoking backwoods from Xavier Wolf. That was my favorite movies when I was That was my first homie to smoke woods. All of a sudden I got addicted. It made me so proud to be from Philly. Like State prop. Jackets, yeah, they had the jackets. They had the move. The My movie was crazy, one. bro. But the, it's the it's I, the I crazy. Wasn't supposed to be watching this fucking movie, bro. bro. And right, that joint on DVD but... tripping. But look, and in Philly <laughs> niggas, I, said I wasn't supposed to be watching that shit. Stay properly moving. All right, yeah. but look, in Philly niggas be sipping lean straight though. That's the thing. Niggas in Philly don't even like mixing that shit. What niggas that take take uh they got we got the little glass bottle joint and shit. Niggas just straight pop them joints to the head like three or four of them joints. Why you don't enjoy a soda? Pop. What the and fuck is wrong with these like guys? Two ten, two, two per tens. Soda. You mean and then they just be that's some Philly shit. You you take like four ounce shots, pop you a perk. You mean? But and I'm not even gonna lie. Niggas off, be fried. That's, off that's real Philly lean. Shit. When I I had real lean, bro, and when I was off of that shit. And hella loud, bro. It was probably like the highest I ever been in my life, bro. Mm-hmm. So I know that niggas not like doing Believe that. Yeah, doing what that I shit. did that yeah. day. Lean, lean like, ain't that shit was retarded. You know bro. the, the nah, thing about lean. I was doing in the studio and I was fall asleep. I was wake up. The studio session's yeah, you over. Will, you will fall asleep though if it's some drop. Yeah. Even it was, if it's, it's not deeper even than if that, it's not though, some drop. Even if sleep. it's even if it's some K row, you still fall asleep though because you know niggas be magicians. Yeah, they just. Zans food coloring. You need a nigga to whip it up. It's just Kool-Aid, man. Yeah, you just water, sipping Kool-Aid just with Zans, Water bro. whipping on this shit. Oh, you need a good whip, plug. Whip. I trust my guy. I got it's, it's, Shout out Hesh. Hesh. Hesh served me some fake lean one time. Yeah, man. Oh, <laughs> Hesh, I heard it. I seen it. I seen it. He Where hates when I talk about Where's it. Hesh? I seen that on Twitter and shit. Yeah, Hesh, Hesh came over shit? my crib. You know, he's like, yo, I got some drink. I'm coming over. I'm like, all right. He comes over. Pour it up. Like towards the end of it, I'm like, nah, this ain't doing shit. But he was like, yo, let me get this ounce of shake, yo. I'm like, right, yo, Hesh, yeah, yeah. if you watching this show, uh, hit me up because I had your old number and I hit you up before I came out here and shit. And some nigga was like, yo, this not Hesh, but I'm 10 G now, so I'm I don't know. 10 <laughs> Yeah, I was like, yeah, I was like, yo, this 5 G Hesh, yo, hit me up. He was like, yo, this not Hesh no more, bro. I got somebody else phone and shit. I bought it like fucking yeah, two you, months you ago. Said, but I'm 10 but G I'm 10 now. G and shit. You you can't yeah. be texting Hesh like you got to DM him or something. Because he got a new so, phone yeah, every other weekend, man. On, yeah, it's crazy. On Twitter and shit. How you know him? What's that relationship? Uh, What's a weird connection? We the Babylon story. And we really Wi Fi guy. We really yeah. met from Wi Fi guy. Shout out Wi Fi guy. I'm a big fan nigga. of him. Man. That's my, that's yeah, my, Wi-Fi that's guy. my kin yeah, folk, bro. Yeah, that's like my Shout brother. We guy. like pe- two peas in the same pod, bro. Like, yeah. that shit is crazy, bro. Like, me and Wi Fi really. Like, like I don't know. Like when we when we did Black Punk Rock, like it was like the day after we did this show no. with our mans, right? Uh, like it was the like day that, after we did yeah. the show with our mans, and he came through to the show. Like we let him oh, in the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. He came through. He started the mosh pit in this shit. Started the crazy. Gotta fucking, love that the local oh, guy in the scene who will show up at a show insane. and start a mosh pit. And, and this nigga was already. This nigga is the one that really was fucking with Wi Fi guy. Like he he showed me Wi Fi guy. So once he came, I was like, "Well, this is pretty rare." So mm-hmm. then, after the show, like maybe a day or two after, we linked up, went to my crib, 
and he had the studio because we he we oh, record yeah. on I, his shit. Yeah, I I, cause everything I record do, everything. Everything we do, he like it's Mojo. Like Mojo record, records record us. Record he, does our, he does our he does our covers. All that he, shit. He does Holla everything for us. Like I'm genius, nigga. He does everything but, for us, bro. Yeah, I just I just be in the car with it. Like I put that shit on my wheel. You mean we just be at everybody crib? He just I brings the up. stew. He just mobilely brings yeah. the stew over. And then we record and, then and just make bangers. We we came to the crib and I had the beat from uh from uh Forza and Oogie Man and I played it. But before, like, like earlier in the day, before I like I even played that beat, like I don't know, I was just thinking to myself about like us and our swag, and like I was just like, yeah, like for real, for real. Swag is a funny ass name. Like for real, for real, for real, for real. Like drop down his tracks. That's what Bass World was all about. Swag. swag. Yeah, swag. I was just, just thinking swag. about all for of no our reason, swag, swag, mainly mine, and I was like, yeah, we're on some bad brain <laughs> shit. Like. <clears throat> Like I love the bad brains. Like mm-hmm. like shout out HR. He lives in West Philly, I think. Yeah. So like I was like, yeah, like we really on some black punk shit. Like that's cause we all black and we all like we really like like all our like, when we go to the when we go to the shout shit, the, the mosh pit, the that's that's what it looks like. It's we're not moshing, like you know what I'm saying? We're not standing around like mm. this shit is like really rowdy, came from yeah, that man. it's getting rowdy. It came from that culture. Mm. And me and him, me and Alvin really was the ones that was really listening to that. Like my favorite band is the Gorilla Biscuits. Mm. Like oh, they're my, up there for me too. Like my second yeah, favorite, yeah. My, my 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 biggest favorite, really. Like no one can really go above Bad Brains because they're like the like the best fucking like they're like the first hardcore band for real, for real ever. Mm. Like and they were all they were black, so like like it's so much I can love about them. Yeah, that is crazy because there were like no black hardcore there was none. people. No one was and screaming. then there was one no whole one was band screaming. that was like the sickest band, and they were all black. That no was one crazy, was screaming, yeah. bro. Like no one was screaming either until Bad Brains came out. That's why I love Bad Brains. They don't get enough credit, I think. But fuck it, me. They got a Supreme collab. Yeah. Legends, yeah, that's pretty good. Legends, yeah, bro. Like legends, that's really man. one of my biggest shit. But yeah, like that's what I'm saying. So that's why that's what I was going through my head that day, and that's why when we got down to the beat, the beat reminded me of some shit. Like how the basses was, like the beat reminded me of some shit. So I was like, damn. So this is some some black yeah, punk I shit. And I was like, like crazy, that's how yeah. I made it. I was like, this is that black punk rock shit. And then I made it, and like this that hood golf shit because for real, for real, when I was making that. This nigga had a tape called Hood Golf, Hood Golf. that he did Wet, with. Go and sing. It's, it, it's, it's like the bit is flawless. flawless a flawless victory. tape that is it's him X Forza. It's the most flawless tape in the like some. It's like our greatest hit shit. The bite and it's all him for for like all solo right. shit. But this nigga. <laughs> I, I wanted before I even knew that he was gonna do it all solo. I wanted a feature on Hood Golf because I knew how hard it was. Mm-hmm. So I made that like earlier in the day too. Mm-hmm. And I was thinking, like, we was going to do it for that. But then he was like, no, nah, we might as well just make the song. We made the song. Mm-hmm. And it just went crazy. Like, and then, like, we, like, we, we, we dropped it with this label called Lost Appeal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they Shout helped us a lot. Andrew. They helped us a lot with that shit. Like, this label, Lost Appeal, they posted on their shit. And it's got, like, how much it got now, bro? Like, 100, like 100K now. 100K. And that's, and that's, like, numbers pushing for us, for real, for real. Like, that's a, that's a lot. Like, feel like we got, came from nothing. Like we yeah. only been out here for like a year. Like, you feel like you got the respect in Philly from like people who are in the local hip hop scene. You feel like they like actually no. know what you're doing and shit, nah? No? They know uh, what you're if doing. They do, like, if they do, they're not. They don't. They don't yeah. really. They're not. They're not fluent about showing. Like, you got a no like, jumper. I, you're about I, I to be. <laughs> that is, it's like I fuck about us, man. No, but it's like they I went to the movies. I was at the movies with my mans and shit. And the nigga seen me in the enemy's tee. He's like, oh shit, like, you mojo, I fuck with you. I'm like, like it's only yeah. a certain niggas amount of people. Shit. Like, yeah, yo, but, so I be coming from like places, that, like niggas that. be like, this one nigga just stopped, he like, yo, I'm a big fan of your music. And I'm like, whoa, like we got fans, we got fans here too. And then and then we just linked and he was a cool dude. And like, that's just how it was. I just was really surprised that niggas had like supporters like that in Philly too. It's like the skaters and shit. I feel like we get it's like, but it's just like we don't really got the we don't got like the the hood hood. You mean that's always the hardest one. That's always the last to go Mm -hmm. is the fucking hood dudes because they're the most stubborn ones and they're the hardest ones to reach because it's like a lot of like super hood people are are more like they just go on YouTube and shit. I feel like you know they're not like digging. They they'll probably like see some shit on World Star and shit. They recommend it because you know niggas be on YouTube all day. That's why the recommended on YouTube is like the biggest jug of all time because if you can get on that shit, your shit could get twenty million views and like. Cause I know I've been on that shit all career. day, so I know everybody else is doing it. Yeah, 
Yeah, everybody, the recommended videos. I was just wondering what's popping up in everybody else's because, I mean, it's been trying to get me to play that damn YBN Namir song for fucking two months straight. Oh, my God. Bro, that song <laughs> That's is the, annoying. The recommended. I, that song. I like that song, that song, but the recommended every minute of the day. Same thing with Lil Xan. Lil Xan was the on that ba- shit every know, second man. of the day. Know, he blew man. the fuck it's, up. It's a little basic to me. It's, I don't know. Well, it's a like YouTube, like, uh, free beat. Like, yeah, that's a shout out yeah. to shout, shout out, out to Isaac. Isaac. He made a banger out of it though, you know. Isaac, Isaac, I think that producer goes hard. I, I fuck with that. Oh, shit. you know I who think producer? He, yeah, oh, I think okay. I think that I think that I think that I don't even know the producer, but I just I've heard a lot of his VC goes hard. I just heard it was I a beat the, that was I think on the YouTube. I went hard on that shit. I don't know, like yeah. niggas out there on the, but I think he went hard on that shit. Definitely went hard. You got the strap, yeah. got the camera. That's what's all about. I fuck with him. Yeah, I fuck with him. He young. He doing his thing. I fuck with him. Hell yeah. Um, what else should we uh, talk about before we wrap this up? We are officially one hour and four minutes in. Man. Hold up. We got we got to call 9K, though. Man. Oh, all I got to oh, yeah. say, hold all up. I got to say is, oh, what type pack you smoking on, bro? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, we're going to get into oh, this. Oh, okay. Shit. We smoking oh, no. on. Uh, what we smoking on? What we smoking on? Alvin, what we smoking on? Oh, man. Yeah. You want to bring up gas. that old beef? No, nah, we not. <laughs> oh, you're not talking about that kind of pack. I don't know. I know what you guys are gonna talk about. <laughs> we gonna we gonna cool. Hold up. Let me let me see if this nigga. Uh, Let's just spaz out. So I'm you guys uh, you I'm guys beat up divine thing. council or not? Nah? I'm smoking on the cheese steak pack right now. Yeah, Let's hear it. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, right. shout out to them. I interviewed them way back. What what is we smoking on, bro? He's smoking on silk money, you mean? Silk money. Yeah, you know right. what I mean? Big hey, silk pack. And hey, we got 9K on the FaceTime shit. I don't know how niggas hey, gonna shout see out this. Just point it at the mic. Just Yo, so that. Yeah. Talk, talk yeah. to this yeah. shit, you mean? Facts. Shout out Black Cray, too. <laughs> talk, talk, talk. Just, you mean? Talk your shit. It's on the mic. You mean? 9K Same in the building. 9K in the motherfucking cut, man. Shout out Five Finger Posse. You know what I'm saying? I'm on that shit now. <laughs> 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 hey, you mean, okay. You the fucking cut, you mean? Your voice sound pissy as fuck. Man, what yeah. are you even doing over Shout there, Shout out bro? all my niggas in the building smoking Yo, on soap. Tell DJ man, I say what's up, bro. Soap, bro. Tell Beast and Seth to go on and say what's up. Yeah, I suck, I suck soap money yeah. in this mint. My man Buck <laughs> Jigga sock icy twat in this mint. Can, te- yeah. can we tell that story? Yeah. Can we tell right. that story? Shout right. out right. Beast and Seth to go on too. I gotta tell the first part. It sounds like way more of a real story than the ASAP thing. Before we get into this, it starts with- It's more of a real beef. It's all about a cheesesteak, bro. It's all about- I love cheesesteaks and it's all about a cheesesteak. Adam, this is all about- I'll fight someone with a cheesesteak too, so I know where you're coming from. So how this shit all started so these niggas was like they had us like when we fucked with them niggas before like all this dumb shit so we was on t- all on twitter whatever whatever this they was talking about coming to philly yeah niggas was quoted that joint like all right you come to philly you're yeah. gonna show you some love like, and then love. they took that as basically saying that we was jocking them based on like shit that was like like twitter lingo and they was trying to say that we was jocking them which we weren't we weren't and bro. then this nigga just started talking crazy to my man's he right here. Talking, like he started, started talking, talking crazy. So he started talking crazy to me. He was saying all this other <laughs> shit. I'm like, dude, niggas was just like niggas. All niggas did was really show you love, and you on some weird shit. So then he was just talking like all oh, this, oh blah blah blah. I don't know who y'all is, mind you. He know who he is because his man's was. We be we heavily rock vintage shit. Like that's what we do. Like we we really be rocking like vintage shit. Like all vintage Tommy Polo, Helly Hansen, everything, bro. Like that's what yeah, niggas really like was designer. really wearing. Shout out this nigga, that, that, they nigga, they they nigga Linko or whatever was used to be in his DM saying, Oh yeah, you got the uh, illest Tommy, blah blah this. Used to be in his DM trying to collab with him at that, bro. And then once it all happened, them niggas just was like switched up on some weird shit. Like they try to act like they know who we was. So and then we and then on saying, top of that, we let yeah. that shit slide. So look, so that's but when, then it got them like yeah, we let no, but look, we got so that's when that's when they was threatening. That was threatening me. So I was like, all right, fuck it. Like when you come to Philly, it's pretty much cracking, bro. Like you can't threaten me. Like what the fuck? And then that's how when, mad are you? How did you spell cracking? Bro, C R A C C I N because then you're real mad. I didn't even say that, but like it's pretty much what I meant. Like is it's on, bro. Like what's up? Mm-hmm. And then he was just talking all this bullshit. So we let it chill, bro. Like we was like, fuck it. We not even gonna worry about them. We gonna work on ourselves as artists and get ourselves to the point that we need to be at, so we can be seen in the light that we want to be seen. But like, so we we focus on ourselves for a whole year after that incident. That's when this promoter hits my line, and he's like. He's like, yeah, I got a chance to put some artists on a better show. Have you ever heard of Divine Council? And I was like, yeah, I, I've heard of those guys. And then he was like, yeah, well, well you can get off that one show I uh, direct you towards and get on this one. So I'm like, all right, cool. 
So, so you're excited to be able to catch a fade at the show? Well, basically, not even that. <laughs> we were going to make this bread is what that this, shit. This, well, this is what I wanted. I wanted cheese steak. We was going to go perform, take their fans, make bread. And if they said anything to us that we didn't like, it was going to be on. Mm-hmm. What they did, so... Oh, you want to know what happened? Right, listen, right, listen. Look, 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 hold on, hold on. <laughs> no, because it was, it was intricate. All right, look, we pulled up. We pulled up two... All right, we had to, we had to show you, man. We we had the show set up. We get the email. It was like, oh, five five finger posse making threats to divine council. Yeah, they we, sent, we never we never said nothing. We was I gotta just tell post- you how that came apart though. You don't, you missing the part. Right. So look, so so the the flyer was out for like a week, right? So I'm guessing while like that week, them niggas was all talking to each other like, yo, how are we gonna do this show? Like, yeah. what the fuck we gonna do? Like, it got to the day before the show, bro. These niggas sent us an email. Basically, they was like, yeah, uh, the the the, uh, the people you saying were making threats, blah, blah, this. Yeah. Mind you, bro. Mind you, we hadn't said, said nothing. nothing to these niggas for a year. That's so they basically, and we was they basically, was rat, like, yeah, they basically told a statement and ratted on us <laughs> because of fear right. that we'd like do something. Like we, like we never really said nothing to them after the incident where they threatened us. Mm-hmm. So they was that scared to the point where they got us kicked off the show. And then that's when... That's when what did, what happened? That's when they just canceled the show. They canceled it. They canceled it, they and canceled then they it. rescheduled it. They, they came back. They just, came back. They came back. Our now, niggas is like, all right, they here. Say less. I, they, two cars. We put two cars deep to the show. Two cars. I, I park in front. Yeah. I'm like, mm, it already looks sus. I park in front. <laughs> Security guards is eyeballing me and shit. I'm like, well, they look weird. <laughs> Our man's pull up, and we, we circle the block. I ride right past. I look. I look. Looked out the window. I'm like, oh, they're good. I'm like, oh, that's so. And they right probably there. gonna snitch from I'm hearing like, this too, I'm bro. Like, I'm like, I'm like, all they right, bro. probably gonna I'm snitch like, from hearing I'm this like, too, bro. I'm like, I'm like, they got, oh. I'm they like, got paperwork, the bro. I'm like, circle the block. We circle the block. We hop out that John. We come out, and then you mean they right there. We see them. We like, what's up? And then and they we walked say, what's off. up? They they start they 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 turn around. We see some cop cars. We right started mm-hmm. walking and off. We started walking back. off once we walked up, and, and, then, and then the cops creep up. We so once like, the cop oh, car yeah. came, they stopped walking, and we was like, "Yo, y'all called the cops? Like y'all some bitches? We far back." And then that's when the nigga, the fat nigga with the dress, he like <laughs> he like he like he like he like man, I ain't no bitch. Blah, blah, blah. He started start running, running down. That's when that shit said boom, 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 boom. <laughs> gave him all face shots. Nigga got all face shots, bro. And then that's when this nigga like grabbed my hoodie and shit. Like, and mind you, this nigga was like 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 this nigga was with. They put themselves with fans. To make it seem they like they fans. was deep. Yo, this they nigga got their fans suck. beat up. Bro, this nigga grabbed this hoodie because he was looking for a cheesesteak, bro. So look, so look. So got, where's so the cheesesteak? Where's the cheesesteak coming? Silk Money was looking for the cheesesteak, bro. Oh, he was bro. walking around looking for food. Bro, he okay, didn't get I got that cheesesteak. Look, so <laughs> the nigga, grabbed, the nigga grabbed my hoodie. That's when, that's when, once he grabbed my hoodie, all you see is all these niggas, bro, come in and ride or die on this nigga, bro. And he was None of his mans ran up. Bro, none of his mans was rocking with him for like, for like, like, like four Until minutes. Until he got stopped by Dude, like four like, niggas. <laughs> this shit was crazy. And then all of them that ran up got fucking put down too, bro. And it wasn't the fast. Like, we we fighting while worrying about the cops. So it wasn't like the type shit that, you know what I'm saying, that you, you want to be into niggas, at that time. Like, we got them, that we got wasn't them the, good ass hits they want, I mean, like, that's like, <laughs> I don't even know, bro. That wasn't what I wanted, but it's whatever, bro. Like I said, we did what we did. It wasn't what I wanted because the cops was involved and we fighting the cops while, I mean, fighting y'all while worrying about the cops and y'all wanted that. So it's yeah. cool, bro. It's like whatever, but like, it's whatever. We did what it do on them niggas. Get these bands, man. That's, that's the, a that's fact. The road, like, that's the road mission. And we not even on no, we not even on no hard body shit. But we from a place where measly, you can easily no, disrespect get us, killed for like anything, bro. So you lucky that all we did was really fucking beat y'all up. Because it could have been way deeper. Where we from, we not with that, bro. You can't say whatever you want to anybody and come to anybody's state. Yeah, Philly real it's small. It's corny Philly to do real that. Small. Like, you, like, you, you, you fold it, bro. Like You're that. never going to be allowed in Philly again. So this is totally unrelated to that whole goth money thing that they had? Yeah, bro. Yeah, we, totally had our own, we had our own thing, bro. Our Them own niggas thing. crazy. They just be doing anything. They, they do anything. They just beef with They beef with anyone, bro. And that's, they got it, it bro. We, like, about, we trying to make bands, bro. We trying to expand this shit, bro. Like, at the end of the day, because we know... We destined for greater things. Like, we fuck with the underground. Shout out to the underground. But we know we destined for greater things in music because us together as a collective is too much creativity going on at once. Like, 
shout out OF because that's really one of our biggest influences. Mm. Like shout out OF, like shout out Paris. Left Brain because he Tokyo. he sent us a beat. Shout out Left yeah, Brain, and this is song about to be brain. legendary. So that's what I'm saying, man. Like we really a collective. We all do what we want. But we still stay, we keep it 100 with each other at all times and we stay as, we keep unity because like, we just like, nobody else has a connection really that wasn't made off the internet nowadays, you know Mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like, so you gotta keep it, you gotta keep it generic on the side when it was, when music is being made. Cause, and it's a business too. Music is a business as well, bro. We business, we business partners at all. Like all of us, we all make money together. That's the reason why you don't want all that negative shit going on. We don't want. That's what I'm saying. We don't really shit. want no <laughs> negative shit going on. Yeah, you be, we don't you, want the negative shit. But if you get like, too if many you fights at shows, there, we can take it. There. Promoters start yeah, hating. Yeah, promoters, don't don't fuck with you. We, especially no you get on the cops you. radar. That's boom, a fact. Then you know it's bad. Then your band stop going. You know that's a fact. It's like if we see if we had like a show with Divine Council, I'm like. I wouldn't see nothing. I look at you. I'd be like, I'd be like, what's up? Like, I'm yeah. Like, but unfortunately, the way the rap game is, it always is a problem like, when you have a like, a situation yeah. with rappers. You know what I'm saying? Like, so and especially when you're playing low ass clubs, like one backstage. It's not like because you know once they're bigger. They could have, you know, dudes who hate each other want to kill each other on the same show, yeah. but they got different dressing rooms. They get them in. There's security. They get them out. That's why you see a flyer with dudes who hate each other. But in the underground, it's more real. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Anyway, so what, what we got to look forward to, you guys? This, this big third mixtape? Mm-hmm. This third, this third album, oh, oh, man. Oh, oh. Album, yeah, album, And I got Hook Off 2 coming out. Hook Off 2. And me and Forza. So me and my man Trey Jones got this tape that we put out like last Christmas. Because last Christmas, we did something that niggas don't really do. Like we dropped four tapes on the same day. Yeah, it was all four of us. tapes from all different on artists. It was all on these Christmas. tapes are seen now as like legendary tapes by our fans. It was on of Christmas and we called it Fifthmas. Like, yeah. yeah. So Fifthmas. shout out, shout oh, out, man, my nigga Fifthmas. Trip Jones. He's in the cut. That's my nigga over there with the camo pants and circle five. So big ass camo pants. Those big camo. Big camo. Big camo. Big nigga. But that's why. But that's that's the nigga that I be going and linking out with with New York. We make hella music. We made casket tapes one. We got casket tapes two coming out. And it's gonna be crazy. We're gonna have merch and everything for that shit. So it's gonna be lit. so much shit. But this in the third tub, man. group tape, niggas not even prepared. Like we can't even Yeah, man, it's gonna be crazy. We got the third group we got tape. The flavors. We got we got a compilation tape. Yeah. You know, it's there's a lot going on. Merchandise still flowing. Um vlogs. We got the vlogs about to come through and shit, you know, a mm-hmm. lot of shit going on. And you about to level the fuck up, man. Yeah, the man. bag we get the bag, man. We trying to get to the bag, bro. Bag. Definitely. Like, that's what's up. Hey. Yeah, man. We no just, more drama in fifth. We land. just love. We that's all we are about is making good music. No more that's drama in fifth. Do we just want the bags. Music. You know what's gonna happen now? You're gonna have all the old hood dudes trying to manage you and shit. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I saw that no jumper. You know, I'm trying manager. to manage you. We need yeah, a manager. Man. Be very careful. It's getting a little hectic. We got. If a lot you try to manage going us, on. hit hit us up. Yeah, we if, got a lot of shit going. If they have a van wrapped with images of themselves and they're trying to push their own mixtape, don't let them manage you. <laughs> you ever see that? Or does that don't happen yeah, in Philly? That, I think, but it does happen, right? <laughs> That's like it an Atlanta happen, thing, right? I think. I swear that does. I don't know. I just it. need to figure out a situation to stay out here and shit. I want to stay out uh, LA and shit. Man, LA loves me more than Philly. So I love LA. I'm, I'm gonna figure something out. Yeah. Very very. LA like, is popping in the next two months. This in the next shit two months. Is yeah. <laughs> yeah. All facts. Hell yeah. Well, hey, I'm glad we got to have this conversation. Hell yeah. I've been fucking with you guys. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for always, yo, yeah, thank man. you for always playing us on your stuff, even before. Yeah, we appreciate like, you, you, fans, you, you remember you FaceTime me with the pounds? I will never forget this shit. This nigga FaceTime <laughs> oh, yeah. me with the pounds, listening to Bloody Murder. I was like, yo, this is crazy. Oh, it was hash hit you like, up, right? Yeah. 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 I was that such was a good feeling, bro, yeah, to know. Was like, like damn, bro, like, that's that's love, bro. That's like, tight. niggas be talking shit. Like, that's 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 love, bro. I ain't suck a dick. That's love. That's love, bro. We ain't worried about peons I don't got shit and to shit. Say about you know. shit. Like that's yeah. love from my standpoint. Yeah. That's all I got yeah. to say. Right, I just want to encourage hell. young motherfuckers doing good <laughs> shit. All right, hell so yeah. uh, hey. Five Finger Posse, get your wow. asses over to YouTube, mm-hmm. type it in, get over to SoundCloud, type it in, find them on Twitter, yeah. Instagram, all that bullshit. Five Finger Posse, all our names are always in the bios. Get it, man. Young Mojo, YMG. Hey, and if, if you made it an hour and 20 minutes into this, shout out to you, Jamaica because you're a real soldier. You just Jamaica heard a lot of shit. Jamaica is out of shit. Shit. Man, okay. shit you just This heard. is the thing we do, though, is that if we go real deep into a podcast, we come up with a hashtag at the end, and we're like, yo, if you made it this deep... 
put this hashtag and it's, but it's got to be something weird that they're not going to guess unless they get the whole way and so I'm going I'm to give it to you guys like if you have like a weird inside joke or a reference that you want to use right, hashtag cool. kink shit yo no <laughs> what, I got what, a hashtag what's hashtag, hashtag Jamaicans are the only niggas that no. get a pass for colored hair <laughs> Hashtag I'm that. Dead. Jamaicans are the only Such a niggas long that get a pass for colored hair. Bro, no and if y'all my followers and y'all follow me and shit, I'm going to unfollow y'all if I don't see that shit tonight. So. What's, what, what a catchy hashtag that is. <laughs> Jamaicans that are shit, the only man. ones allowed yo, 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 to have colored hair. One thing hair. I did want to say was shout out, shout out Rope Gang because I know, I know your fans be on some, y'all know your fans be on some shit. Like, we yeah, just want them to know we fuck with Rope Gang. Oh, like, yeah, good, good. We, we fuck with Rope Gang on this side. So if there was anybody them. was like, fuck these guys, they're like, ah, all right, no, we're cool with them now. That's all good now. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. All right. Well, hey, appreciate you guys. No jumper. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, SoundCloud, hey. iTunes, Five Finger Posse. Bam, 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 bam. You mean 205 YOF? I'm